Today, you're getting an inside look at some incredible homes for sale in America's finest city. So let's find your perfect home. I'm Claire McKee, welcome to On The Block. My next guest is Sharon Tice McDonald with Pacific Sotheby's. Hi Sharon, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Thanks for having me today. We're so happy to have you on this beautiful day in Carlsbad. It is, it is. It's fantastic. We're pretty lucky, aren't we? Very, <laughs> yeah. Well, and your listing uh, most recently isn't too far away. No, no, no. So it's right down the street. We're about two blocks from the beach. It's in Water's End community. Um, it's a beautiful community. It's gated. Okay. The house is stunning and uh, the area is wonderful. I mean, you have walkability, we have the train now. Okay. So I'm really excited about it. Yes, let's talk about the area. I like to start with the neighborhood first. So what do people like to do in the community? Oh, uh, everything. Honestly, <laughs> they have a pool, they have volleyball, they have basketball, they can surf. Um, so I think there's a really active lifestyle there. Yeah. And then of course, like I said, the train. So everybody can, you know, take the train down to the Padres game or yes. now we can kind of go anywhere because Amtrak just showed up. So we'll right. have a better train schedule. So that'll Taking be nice. the train up to LA, worth it every time. Every time. Right? Yes. Every time. You don't have to drive. No thank you. <laughs> totally. And you're right, you can take it south down to the Padres game. That's such a great point as well, down mm -hmm. to downtown. Mm -hmm. Amazing. So let's talk the home specifically, bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage. Let's kind of get into the nitty gritty of it. So it's on a cul-de-sac. Okay. It's 23, 14 square feet, three beds, optional four. Okay. And it is absolutely stunning. They did everything for them. They never thought they'd leave, right? We yeah. never do. Yeah. But um, they actually did a ton of woodwork. They put on solar. They did a whole home filtration system. Wow. They a huge corner lot. And it's just absolutely beautifully done. I mean, they put over 300000 into the home. Wow. Like I, I mean, said, they never thought they'd leave. It really was you beautifully kidding. done. Well, somebody gets to take advantage of all the love they've shown exactly. that home, right? Exactly, yeah. And honestly, I think we're going to do really well. I think there's going to be a lot of people that are yeah. interested in this home. I can only imagine, especially being only a couple blocks from the water. Exactly. I mean, literally, I can count the rooftops to the sand. I oh can almost see the sand. Gosh. You can't see the ocean, but you're close. So incredible. Yeah. It's just that epitome of San Diego lifestyle, right? Exactly. What yeah. else should we know about this home specifically? Um, I would say they did a you know, gated driveway, which okay. makes it really nice. The mm -hmm. community is really safe and yeah. it's really quiet and private. Okay. So even though you're near kind of all the hubbub and there's a lot mm -hmm. to do, it's kind of a nice little go back home quiet haven. Sure. So. Um, and how about price point for this one? 1.3. Okay. So we're getting into Carlsbad practically on the water for 1.3. Exactly. Checking all those boxes, everything that Carlsbad has to offer. Mm -hmm. And one thing I love about you, Sharon, you really give back to the community. So let's talk a little bit about what you do with uh, your commissions and a percentage of each home you sell or buy, for that matter, for your sure, clients. Sure, yes. And I'm very excited to share this because yeah. it really is a passion of mine. So I love all our little furry people. <laughs> and so I've been trying to find a way to kind of dedicate back mm -hmm. to the community and make sure that the community also can be involved. And so I take my commissions, a portion of, and I give it actually to my clients, buyers or sellers, okay. to donate a pet, so it's in support materials. And if they decide they don't want to donate the pet at this time in their life, then they can pay it forward to a friend or family member. Okay. And I will pay for the boarding or the food or whatever support materials they need. So we're both kind of invested, right? They yes. adopt the pet and I give all the supplies. And then basically if they don't need to adopt at this moment, I'll mm -hmm. donate it to the shelter or okay. the rescue of choice. Okay. So not only is it something that you're passionate about, but you're sharing it with your clients as well and giving back to the community. That sounds like a win for everyone involved. I hope so. Yeah, I I'm love really that so much, it. Sharon. Um, and anything else we should know about this home specifically or maybe ways to get involved uh, when it comes to donating back to your community projects? Oh, I would love that. So yeah, I did a feature table, which I'm hoping to have displayed through all my open houses, this property and all okay. the future. So it makes it easy for people to honestly give back or find a way that they'd like to give back, yeah. whether it's adopting a pet or getting involved volunteering their time yeah um, Helen Wooder has a great like uh, a little critter camp to get mm. children involved yes. to understand animals and how to give back mm -hmm. so um, any of those options would be wonderful and yeah. I'd be thrilled if anybody got involved at all I know they're always looking for foster uh, parents as well and exactly. it sounds like you've really made it an integral part of your business which I love taking your passion and your purpose and just combining it all together yes thank you Sharon thank really you so much for sharing thank you it was really thanks good for to having you. me Appreciate it. Absolutely. 
Do you have a home that you'd like to feature on the block? Go to modernmedianetwork.com to submit your next listing. Who knows, you might just see us on the block.